Hey guys, here we are uh, up in the attic. Just wanted to give you guys a quick tutorial, show you how to change your uh, HVAC filter for your um, for your air system. Um, obviously, this will change a, a bit uh, depending on exactly what kind of system you have. But here's the very general concept. Uh, here I have my replacement filter. It's going to put that off to the side for one minute. I'll talk about that in in a, in, in a second. What you want to do is you want to find where the filter actually is. Now, in this particular system, it's going to be right here. So, just give that a little tug. That comes loose. And there's your old filter. Um, this one was actually put in just a couple days ago, so I'm not going to get rid of it, but I just want to show you what it would be like if you were actually going to change it out. You just kind of get your hand in there. Give it a little tug. Let's see. One of the most important, a couple of important things that you want to note prior to actually pulling it out. I mean, this is great. This uh, shows you the date, May 4th, uh, that it was installed. Uh, today we're uh, May 13th, so obviously this is way too early to change your filter. You would normally wait either one to three months to, to change out your filter. But the, but the other key piece of info that you want to note in addition to the date so th uh, is... This little arrow here, if you can see it, it says airflow. So you're gonna to want to pay attention to that because you want to put your you're gonna to want to put your filter back in in the correct direction. So pull this out. We remember that the that the airflow points toward our unit, right? So then we grab our our replacement filter. Um, Make sure you get the right size when it comes to, to, to your replacement filter. Mine, in, in particular, is a 14 by 25 by 1. Yours will probably be different. That doesn't matter. Just make sure you have the right size. And then here are those arrows, once again, to pay attention to. So, remember, we wanted the arrow to point toward our unit. So, there you go. You just slide it back in. Okay. Pop this little <clears throat> cover back on, and that's about it. Uh, again, this is something you want to do every one to three months. It'll help. Um, it'll help keep your air clean and also help your system not work as hard to keep you cool. Uh, now's a great time to do it. We are in the month of May, and even though it's hot, it's not as hot as it's going to be soon. So it's a good time to. Just do some basic maintenance on your HVAC system. And something like this is really easy. You can get these filters at any hardware store. I even find them at the um, supermarket. Uh, but the best price probably will be at the hardware store. Or online, of course. So give it a try. This is a real basic, easy thing that you can do. You just have to find this, pull it out, take out your old one, put in your new one, and close it up. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.